Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and it's time for a change over here. So these are two of my beta tanks. This is Chris, this is Martin, and I really like Martin's tank. I think it looks nice, but I really just don't like Chris's tank. I mean, it's perfect for him. Water parameters are completely stable. He enjoys it. He's, you know, obviously a very energetic and inquisitive little fish. But I just don't like the tank, it just looks dirty, and, um, just, I, I was doing, like, the whole black water thing in here, and I still am, and with this guy, I probably still will do it with him. And this newscape that I'm doing today, but I just don't really like it, and also, I don't have a lid for it, uh, and he hasn't been known to be a jumper, I haven't seen anything with that. Uh, just, all this just stuff that's built up, it's definitely time for a change. Uh, it's not that I'm not doing maintenance on the tank, it's just that I sort of leave in that stuff, because it's nice cover, he likes it, it's not affecting the water quality or anything. But, you know, I just feel like it's time for a change. Um, I'm just going to clean this whole tank out, empty it out, scrape it all down, probably put a background on it, and then we'll get ready to escape it. So, yeah, let's just start breaking this tank down. So what I'm doing here is making a DIY glass lid. I got some glass cut to the dimensions that I wanted and I'm gonna be siliconing one piece to another piece so that I have a little quote unquote cutout for the filter, but I can have the full tank covered by glass. So what I did is I ran a bead of silicone along the smallest piece and then siliconed it along the back of the main piece of the glass. After getting the back painted black, I had a nice clean slate to start hardscaping with. I wanted to do a rock only layout here because all the other tanks in the fish room incorporate lots of wood and just some rocks to accent it. So I decided to go a little bit more rock heavy with this one. Alright everybody, so here is the tank. If you didn't notice that Chris is really fired up right now because his tank's the only one that's on in the fish room right now so he can see his reflection and he's never had to deal with that before. Uh, so he's definitely a little fired up. He's flaring like crazy and I guess that was good for the final shots. But I don't want to keep this light on too long because I don't want to stress him out. But the tank's looking nice. I do need to uh, top up the water. Um, I have done a water change in the past uh, week or so. Probably tomorrow I'll do a water change. 
probably should have topped it up for the final shot, but hey, this is how the tank looks right now. I'm not going to try and get all spiced up for the camera. This is how it looks right now. No allergies going on the glass or anything, but I've got to keep on top of water changes to make sure that everything stays really nice in the tank. Uh, filtration is just what I was running last time, just the old top fin like filter that came with a kit. Um, everything's looking nice in here. I got some new plants that are going to be coming in for it later i think it definitely needs to be filled in more the hardscaper looks a little lacking without it but i think once it gets some stems filled in right here top up the water a bit get things nice and filled in looking good in here i think this tank will be great but this is just you know the first week of having it set up chris seems to really be enjoying it he's obviously really fired up right now but yeah, he's been eating well pretty much since the first day I added him back in this tank. He has had no accumulation issues. Um, maybe I'll add like a Nerite snail or two in here. But that's pretty much the only other stocking I'll add in here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I know it's a bit of a short one, but uh, there's no point in stretching this video out. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.